Hey, what's up guys, this is Marcos. Today, we're gonna take a look at Final Cut Pro X. I wanna share with you some tips on how to, how to tell what frame rate you shot your footage in. Now, if you shoot weddings like I do, sometimes you're mixing frame rates. You're shooting 24 frames per second for the ceremony, then you move on to other stuff where you're shooting 30 frames per second for like slider moves, and then you go on to 60 frames per second when you're doing a couple shoot or you wanna do something that looks more artistic and cinematic and that kind of stuff. So you end up with different frame rates. Sometimes I even shoot 120 frames per second. So at the end of the day, you wanna, you know, when you come down to editing, because I do a lot of editing, you wanna separate out the footage so you know what's slow motion and what isn't and what are the slider shots and all that stuff. Uh, usually I, I can tell before, I, here, before I could tell just by looking at the footage, I could kind of tell, but it's kind of tricky because sometimes I crank up the shutter speed, so it's really hard to tell. There's a way to do it in Final Cut Pro X, and it took me a long time to learn. So uh, let's get into, into it, and I'm gonna show you exactly how to tell the footage apart, all right? So here we are in Final Cut Pro X, and you're looking at a project I recently worked on. Now, if you look here at the library, people tell me I say library, it's library, library. Uh, it, there's only a couple of clips with a, a wedding. It would be more complicated than this. You probably see hundreds of video clips and a bunch of audio everywhere. So, you know, this is a good way to start because we can keep it simple. So that here's a, a couple of video clips. Uh, and let me close some of these windows so you can see better. This is what it typically looks like. It tells us the start end time and all this other bunch of stuff. I don't really care about I, I, You know, I never look at it. So what I do is I right click here under name and I say hide all columns because I don't really care about anything, you know, besides the frame rate size. Also, I care about the duration sometimes, but uh, if we right click and select video frame rate right there, it'll tells us, it tells us what frame rate it was shot in. Mainly I shot slow motion at 60 frames per second and some 24 frames per second. Now I'm gonna uh, align it by the frame rate it was shot in. So if I click hit frame rate, now you can see the 60 frames per second shots were uh, you're, they're aligned first in, in the list, okay? That's what I want. So the next thing is, I mean, you could also turn on, before we get uh, move ahead, uh, you could also turn on duration. Let's say you wanna look, look at how long the video clip is, uh, maybe frame size, sometimes that's useful. I, those are the three that I keep on my list. Um, so yeah, that might help you out. So the next thing is if you want to separate them and, and create a list for them, let's say, oh, let me click frame rate again. Uh, you can, you can create a, a keyword collection. And to do that, you want to make sure that you select the event where the project is. And once that's selected, you right click, select new keyword collection, and I'm going to name this uh, slow motion footage. All right. And again, select the event. Now, um, I'm going to select this first clip and this last clip, hold down shift. Now I have all the video clips that are 60 frames per second. I'm just going to drag them over to this keyword collection. So if I select it now, all these clips are saved here. That way I can easily reference them when I'm creating a highlight film or something like that, I could easily just look at all my slow motion footage. So that's that is that simple. Hopefully this helps you out. I, I mean, <laughs> for some reason, it took me a long time to figure it out. So I, if it took me a long time, there's probably some people out there that, you know, might benefit from this. It might get some ideas. It might help you out with your next videos. So please, uh, please let me know if this helps you. Uh, give it a thumbs up if you found it useful. If you didn't, give it a thumbs down. So oh, if you want to see more Final Cut Pro X tutorials, guys, please let me know down in the comment section. Sometimes I think, well, these are too simple. Why should I share them? I shouldn't. Uh, maybe people already know this stuff, but if you don't, if you're like me, it takes you a while to learn stuff. Uh, maybe you should let me know about that. Okay. Uh, as always, thank you very much for watching. Subscribe if you haven't already done so, and I'll catch you on the next one.